All right, forgive me if the lighting is a little bit weird because it's getting dark outside, so it affects the lighting on me. Um, <clears throat> this is an introduction to a video of, that I'm working on right now, and I have discovered that I'm not the only one that has Bibles at home but aren't, but don't read them, and so... Uh, I've discovered this book called the, what's it called? The Complete Idiot's Guide to the Bible. Okay, now it it has what's important in it. There's a, a lot of things, and the, there's a lot of good information in the Bible, but some of the most important things this touches on, you know, like about the, the, the line... That, that Jesus comes from and um, the children of Abraham and what happens to them and their children that's all stuff that I used to wasn't be wasn't interested in but I'm 70 now and I, I am becoming interested in this kind of stuff and so this isn't a bad book if you're not reading the Bible really that is interesting and just has a good way of, of uh, laying things out for you. Plus, it gives plenty of scripture that you can go to. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to just promote that. And um, got some good videos tonight. Um, I'm reminiscing about when I was eight years old and I, I was baptized in the river. And... I'm remembering back when some of the older people used to sing in church a lot and back in in that day you know there's a lot of banjo guitar music and sometimes you'd have some really old I'm talking 90 years old get up and and sing and just bless you and touch your heart and so of course, besides the, so, so there's going to be a video about river baptism in, um, of course, a, a musical performance by someone that's around 90 years old. And uh, then there's also a, a dog, a video of dogs going to church and being prayed for, being blessed. And this is done once a year. Uh, in a particular church, I think it's, it might be in Texas. I'm not not 100 sure, but it's quite uh, a sight to see, it's, and it's touching too. Can you picture a horse walking into a church? Uh, not many churches are going to allow that to happen. <laughs> and uh, then. To close the devotion, Lionel Richie is going to perform Oh Happy Day, and then that then that, that will conclude the uh, the video. And I hope you enjoy it. I, I hope it uh, provides you with some benefit. You know, I. I'm enjoying doing this. I've just started doing it and it's given me something else to do. Uh, when you're retired, you, you better make sure you've got a hobby or you'll just go bonkers. Trust me. <laughs> so I've, def I've got a few hobbies and maybe I'll tell you, I will might even mention some of them sometime. But anyway, hey, have a great evening and enjoy the videos. Thank you. Okay, the joke of the day. Of course, this is about a priest and a minister and a rabbi, okay? And I don't think this will offend anybody. A priest, a minister, and a rabbi 
want to see who's best at his job. So they each go into the woods. That's a little weird, isn't it? They head to the woods to find a bear and attempt to convert him. Later, they get together. The priest begins. Well, that's a good sign because later they get together. Anyway, the priest begins. When I found the bear, I read to him from the, the catechism and I sprinkled him with holy water. Next week is his first communion. I found a bear by the stream, says the minister. And I preached God's holy word. The bear was so mesmerized that he let me baptize him. They both looked down at the rabbi who was lying on a gurney in a body cast. Looking pretty bad. He says, the rabbi says, uh, maybe I shouldn't have, shouldn't have started with circumcision. You know, them rabbis, they believe in that circumcision, you know. And I don't think he was thinking when he went out, decided to circumcise a bear, do you? I don't think so. And that's the joke of the day. This is something that's been missing in his life. Amen. And he, he wants to be baptized to fulfill all righteousness as our Savior said. Yeah. Brother Kinsel, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 been talking about it and wanting to come back ever since so we, we're glad to have her back god bless her god bless you all i'm glad to be here tonight thank the lord i'm able to be here thank the lord for my family you know i like to brag on my family i've got a good family I thank the Lord for the way I've raised them, the way I've taught them. I, I, I'm not too good a singer, I guess, anymore. I, I've got a little age on me. Sometimes, sometimes my voice fails me a little bit. But when I get to heaven, I'll have a brand new voice. Yeah. I'll sing with angels. I don't know whether I'll hold your mic or not. I may lay it down. Old time religion.
This week on Yuppie and Puppy, we're at the blessing of the animals. Today, at the Church of the Redeemer, a service is held in remembrance of St. Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of animals. The Blessing of the Animals is an annual church service that occurs close to October the 4th all over the world. The service takes about one hour. Prayers are said for animals past and present, animal caregivers and rescue canine units, and then the congregation makes a procession and individual blessings are given by the clergy. Well, Toby, we bless you in the name of the God that created you. May God watch over you, keep you safe and healthy. And may God bless the relationship you have between you and your owner. May your nine years continue to be full of joy and happiness, long walks, and wonderful times together. Amen. Amen. Donations are collected and welcomed to support animal charities in need. Amen. Go in peace and enjoy the rest of your day. Hello, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this devotional time we had together. I know it was a little unusual. We just kind of a little bit just touched on, uh, of course, the uh, the complete idiot's guide to the Bible. How um, I feel like that it'll be a good review, you know, to to walk through for a lot of us that don't read the Bible. This will give us uh, a chance to read it in a little bit different way that I think will hold our interest and be a blessing. And we'll learn a lot of things that we really didn't know, weren't aware of, or didn't understand about God's Word. And I hope you enjoyed all the different unusual uh, videos that we had today. We showed a river baptism, which I had had that when I was just only eight years old, and that brought back memories. And of course, we enjoyed uh, a senior citizen getting up and singing a special song that you don't see every day uh, when a uh, an, an elderly person. Uh, an older person that, that's probably around 90 years old, uh, a, a great, great, great grandma, get up and, and sing her heart out. And it was a joy uh, and a blessing to see her and to hear her wonderful voice uh, shared with us in the church. And of course, then there was the... Uh, animal ceremony that's done every year where they're blessed uh, at uh, church uh, and where the priest blesses them. I think that's a very sweet and wonderful gesture and a loving thing to do. So I hope you enjoyed that. And then our special conclusion with Brother Lionel Richie when singing, oh, happy day. Yes, and it was a blessing. So I hope you enjoyed today's devotion. And we'll see you again real soon, okay? All right. God bless you.